Right, welcome everyone to Sunday morning round 14 of NASAT. Hope you guys are enjoying your time here. I will get started with round 14, toss up one. In one portrait by this artist, the title elderly person holds a sheet of paper reading cold tempo or with time and points at her chest. The large banner of the Order of Malta held by an armored Saint Nicasius extends in front of the landscape in a Madonna and child that this artist painted for his hometown. This artist of old woman and the Castelfranco Madonna included a man with a long staff looking to his right at a mother suckling a child in a stormy landscape. Along with a student, this Venetian created a painting now in Dresden where a pastoral landscape can be seen behind a nude woman who rests her right arm on her head. For ten Giorgioni? Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. Bonus. Answer the following about the Russian administrative regions known as republics and the religions that they follow for 10 points each. Like its neighbors Ingushetia and Dagestan, this Caucasian republic is majority Muslim. Its president, Ramzan Kadyrov, has often promoted the detainment and torture of homosexuals. In contrast, a temple of all religions symbolizes the cooperation between Christians and Muslims in this capital of Tatarstan. Ivan the Terrible's siege of this non-Novgorod city was honored by the construction of St. Basil's Cathedral. I think it's on. Pretty sure. Okay. Kazan? Brokenism is a tangerous offshoot practiced in this republic, which borders another Russian republic, Tuba, as well as Kazakhstan and Mongolia. This republic shares its name with a discredited language superfamily that included Turkic and Mongolic languages. Answer? Altaic? Yes, or nice. Altai. So 30 points on the first bonus. Toss up two. This man is not Spanish, but he was heavily attacked in the documentary Viva Zapatero. He dubbed the periodical The Economist The Communist after being attacked with headlines like The Man Who Screwed an Entire Country. This man's political party formed alliances with other parties in combinations called the Pole of Freedoms and the Pole of Good Governance. This man was temporarily convicted of having sex with an underage prostitute known as Ruby the Heart. Yes. Bonus. Answer the following about the god Njord. Njord, a Vanir god of the sea, is married to the winter goddess Skadi. Skadi chose her husband in a ceremony in which she was only allowed to see this body part of her prospective spouses. Njord is considered to be an early king of Sweden in this old Norse saga by Snorri Sturluson that, con that chronicles the histories of ancient Norse kings. Its title refers to a phrase translated as the circle of the world. No, it's the other one. It's the, like, the saga of the king's word. Answer? Heimskringla? Yeah. According to the poetic Edda, Edda Njord will survive this event in which many of the Norse gods, such as Odin, will die. 20. Class of 3. The protagonist of this novel remembers how his school's headmaster used to be slapped regularly, which is now taboo. That protagonist becomes acquainted with his girlfriend when he falls seasick on a boat ride, after which they drink wine and go to a park with Mr. Macmillan. A recurring image in this novel describes a woman returning from the wash with a cut with a uh, cut from a razor blade. Mr. Green spies on this novel's protagonist, who struggles to pay for his girlfriend's abortion. That girlfriend, girlfriend Clara, is shunned for being an osu and causes a man to take his. No longer in ease. Yes. Bonus. Identify the following about computable numbers. Every computable number can be output by one of these idealized computers whose termination was the subject of the halting problem. Turing machine. machine. Turing machine. Because each computable number corresponds to a process run on a Turing machine, the set of computable numbers has this property of being in a one-to-one -one correspondence with the natural numbers. As a result, not all real numbers are co computable since the set of real numbers, unlike the irrational numbers, does not have this property. Countable? Probably. No, uncountable. No, it said... Uh, one, 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 one one yeah, countable. Yes. Oh, okay. Shreka's sequences demonstrate that the set of computable numbers lacks this property of the real numbers. This property guarantees that any non-empty set of real numbers that is bounded from above has a supremum. It's like closed? I think like max, like lower over, like upper bound, right? Or maximum upper bound? That's not a property. Answer? Closed? Complete or least upper bound. That's what it's about. 20. Were you one of least Toss up four. A character in this play expresses her prejudice against dark-skinned men by declaring that if a potential suitor has the complexion of a devil, I had rather he should drive me than wive me. A song in this play wonders, tell me where is fancy bread or in the heart or in the head. A character in this play is disappointed when he learns that his daughter traded a prized turquoise ring for a, mon for a monkey. In its fourth act, a woman disguised as a judge delivers a speech beginning, the quality of mercy is not strained. In a monologue from this play, a character vows to get revenge after asking, If you prick us, do we not die? Answer? Yes. 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 Yes
of the Merchant of Venice. Yes, ten. Nice. Nice. Bonus. This essay claims that there are 115 of the title concepts a certain author, and a certain author has broken 114 of them. For 10 points each, name this Mark Twain essay that takes the author of the Leather Stocking Tales to task for breaking such rules as the tale shall accomplish something and arrive somewhere. Literary Offenses of James Fenwell Cooper. Well, what's it, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. Which one? Literary Offenses of James Fenwell Cooper. I have Fenimore Cooper's Literary Offenses. This Twain book has itself been criticized, especially for its ending, in which the title youth and Tom Sawyer connive a ridiculous plan to free the slave Jim. In an appendix to A Tramp Abroad, Twain expresses his frustration with the inflections and linguistic genders of this awful European language, noting that turnip is gendered while girl is not. The awful, it's something like the awful, I go with it. Answer, French. the awful German language. That's it. Ten points. We should have. Neutral German. Tessa five. Compounds containing two of this functional group in a 1-5 pattern can interconvert in a 3-3 three, three sigmatropic rearrangement. In the conjugate addition of soft nucleophiles, this functional group is added beta to a carbonyl group. The reaction of phosphonium illids with ketones or aldehydes favors the production of the z- Alkenes? Yes. <coughs> All right, bonus. This woman was the focus of the documentary A Ballerina's Tale. For 10 points each, name this contemporary star ballerina the first African-American woman to be the principal dancer for the American Ballet Theater. Misty Copeland. Yes. Copeland. Copeland has played such parts as the female lead in this 1942 ballet choreographed by Agnes DeMille, which contains sections such as Buckaroo Holiday and Saturday Night Rodeo. Waltz. Its music was composed by Aaron Copeland. That was done. Rodeo. Rodeo. Copeland also appeared in Baker's Dozen, a ballet choreographed by this woman. In 1973, she choreographed Deuce Coupe to the music of the Beach Boys, creating the first crossover ballet. Graham Noguchi. Uh, I don't know. Answer. Noguchi. Twyla Tharp. Okay. 20. We were going to get that. Toss up six. One member of this title group asserts that all militaries must be the finest in the world, although navies are measured by tonnage. This group is first encountered when a man is convinced to rig his stone trough to be more like a boat by Samsok, who is in reality the devil. This group is deeply divided over whether or not the 80,000 trusses of hay were stolen by Pyrot. A, a great military leader of this group is named Trinko. God consults St. Catherine of Alexandria and decides that because the monk male baptized this group, they should be turned into humans. Penguins? Yes. Bonus, one of this author's last books was The Pessimistic Dark Age Ahead from 2004 for 10 points each. Name this author and activist best known for condemning the 1950s urban planning and urban renewal projects in the 1961 book The Death and Life of Great American Cities. Jacobs. Jacobs. Jacobs was a long-time, long-time opponent of Robert Moses, an urban planner in this city. She claimed that Greenwich Village here was an example of an ideal urban community. New York. A famous section of the death and life of great American cities emphasizes the importance of these things for the safety of the city, spending time politically analyzing the ballet that can be found within these things. Wait till the end of the bonus. For, I'm, I'm struggling with that too. Sidewalks. Yes, 30. Thanks. Toss up 7. The modular discriminant is proportional to this power of the dedicand eta function. The leech lattice exists in this number of dimensions and permits an unusually efficient solution to the sphere packing problem. This number is the only non-trivial value of n, such that the sum of the first n perfect squares is itself a perfect square. A four-dimensional hypercube has this many two-dimensional square faces because this value is twice the number of faces plus the number of edges in a three-dimensional cube. This is the largest number which must divide the product of any four consecutive integers, as this constant is the denominator in the simplified formula for n choose 4. For 10 points, identify this number equal to 4 factorial. 24. Yes. That was pretty bad. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> bonus. This character is obsessed with vengeance against his betrayer, Archbishop Ruggieri, for 10 points each. Name this character who describes his experience of being locked in a tower. He grimly notes that at one point, the hunger had more power than even sorrow over me. I should know this. I'm not, so just say Edmund. Edmund. Ugolino della Gerardesca. Ugolino's pathetic story of apparently eating his children's bodies appears while he is residing in hell in this epic poem by Dante. Divine Comedy. Dante's guide through hell is Virgil, who resides in this particular location in hell, alongside such folks as other ancient poets like Homer and Horace. Limbo. Limbo. Yeah. Limbo. Yes. 20. 
toss up eight. Jean Chal, a notable researcher of this ability, names a test for gauging it along with Edgar Dale. It was the subject of a 1955 Rudolf Flesch book that helped spark a series of wars over this ability in the US. The dual root hypothesis ex attempts to explain one form of this ability. In response to the whole language and look say approaches made popular in the mid reading? Yes. Nice. Great. Bonus. This person do uh, once donned a bag lady costume to sing the song Secondhand Clothes for 10 points each. Name this woman who infamously consulted a personal astrologer named Joan Quigley. The joke, honey, I forgot to duck, was said to this woman by her husband after he was shot and wounded. Nancy Reagan. That makes sense. Nancy Reagan. As first lady, Nancy Reagan coined an anti-drug slogan urging children to just say what were to drug dealers. Critics argued that the phrase was too simplistic. No. no. Yes, this uh, chief of staff for Reagan reportedly quarreled with the first lady and embarrassingly revealed her use of an astrologer in his 1988 memoir. Before becoming chief of staff, he was Reagan's first secretary of the treasur treasury. I was thinking Hank, but not 100%. It's the best guess we have for Hank. Answer. Don Regan, 20. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's pretty easy. Sounds exciting. Toss up nine. They're generally not in India, but one of these places contains a monument in honor of Justice Radha Binod Pal. That example of these places also contains a statue of a pigeon, pigeon on a globe to honor the deceased homing pigeons. People at these places often hang up small wooden plaques called Emma or picture horses. In 1871, the government established a hierarchical ranking of these locations, with 67 labeled in the first rank. Those rankings were forcibly set aside in 1946. A person who maintains them is called a Kanushi. One of these places at Ise is a shrine. Prompt. Uh, the Shinto shrine? Yes. Okay. Bonus. For a quantum process, this quantity equals the magnitude squared of the scattering amplitude for 10 points each. Meaning this quantity, for which, which, for a, which for a classical process is proportional to the derivative of the impact parameter with respect to the scattering angle. It is usually measured in units of Barnes per steradian. Scattering words. Answer. Differential cross section. The differential cross section for this type of scattering process is proportional to the fourth power of the cosecant of the scattering angle. The namesake of this type of scattering proved the existence of the atomic nucleus by shooting alpha par particles at a gold foil. Preferred. Yes. The total cross section for a quantum process can be determined using this theorem. It states that the total cross section is equal to 4 pi divided by the wave number times the imaginary part of the scattering amplitude at an angle of zero. Optical theorem, 10. And toss up 10. This man's feud with Pierre-Louis Maupertuis, the president of an academy of science, resulted in an essay whose copies were all burned by Maupertuis' patron. After spending time in England, this man helped popularize the anecdote of an apple falling on Isaac Newton's head. Voltaire? Yes. And your bonus. This historian was executed by the Gestapo for his work in the French Resistance. For Dan Pontige, named this co-founder of the Analyst School of History with Lucien Febvre. He is noted for his posthumous text, The Historian's Craft, and for various books on French rural society. Sounds like Brodel. Brodel. Mark Bloch. Bloch wrote extensively on this type of society, in which, broadly speaking, vassals held land from lords in exchange for service or labor. Feudal. Feudal. Vassals swore this type of oath to the pledge of allegiance to their oath, oath to pledge allegiance to their lord. This type of oath followed the act of homage, which was usually demonstrated by kneeling. Like fealty. Yes, twenty. Halftime, I have a score of 250, Texas A, 50, Ohio A. I agree. You have 240? No. You're good? Okay.
So we have a sub in. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. yeah. Toss up 11. In a novella by this author, the narrator pretends to be a gardening enthusiast so he can let a room at an absurd so he can let a room at an absurdly high price from two old spinsters in a Venetian mansion. In that novella by this man, the narrator is a literary scholar desperate to obtain a set of letters written to Juliana Bordereau by the fictional American poet Jeffrey Aspern. This author also created the gold James? Yes. James. Ten. Bonus. Answer some questions about ring light compounds. Auguste Calculé uh, proposed the structure of this cyclic aromatic hydrocarbon with formula C6H6 after having a dream about the Ouroboros. Betsy. Betsy. Anulines like cyclobutadiene exhibit this property, which gives them extremely high reactivity. Molecules with this property have 4n pi electrons and exhibit paramagnetic ring currents in NMR spectroscopy. Anti-aromaticity. Defer anti-aromaticity. The capping method can be used to make these synthetic compounds, which consist of a macrocycle encircling an axle-shaped molecule, and have the potential to function as molecular switches. Oh, uh, surrounding an axle-shaped molecule? Yeah. I know. Yeah. Answer. Micro- Rotaxanes. Uh, yeah. 20. <laughs> Toss up 12. In December 2000, three people were killed at this location in an attempt by the group Lakshar e Taiba to sabotage, sabotage peace talks. The first of the post World War II INA trials of soldiers who fought for the Japanese was held at this location. An inscription in the structure reads If heaven can be on the face of the earth, it is this, it is this, it is this, and was written by the mystic Amir Khusrau. After the Battle of Karnal, invaders entered. Taj Mahal? No. Entered, the, uh, entered this structure and took such treasures as the Koh Noor diamond. On each Independence Day, the national flag has been raised at this structure's Lahore gate. Nadir Shah took the peacock throne from this building in 1739. For 10 points, name this structure in Delhi, the residence of many Mughal emperors, and named for its sandstone walls. Red Fort? Yes. Bonus. Animals often play a crucial role in the cases of Sherlock Holmes. For 10 points each, the title of this Arthur Conan Doyle novel refers to a dog that Stapleton douses in phosphorus to give the animal a hellish appearance and torment his neighbor's family. Yeah, no, Hound of the Baskervilles. Yes. Yeah. Hound of the Baskervilles. Yes. In The Adventure of the Speckled Band, Dr. Roylott plots to use this type of animal to murder both of his stepdaughters, but Holmes scares this animal into attacking Dr. Roylott instead. Snake. Yeah. Snake. This author took the title of his detective novel, narrated by Christopher Boone, The, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, from, from the Conan Doyle story, The Adventure of Silver Blaze. Mark Hadden. Just Hadden. 30. Toss-up 13. A documentary about a sporting event in this city was edited to under half its original length because authorities hated how it focused too much on the athletes rather than the overall pomp. In a 1954 film set in this city, a woman breaks off her engagement to a colleague of her paleontologist father, instead wedding a ship captain. At the end of a movie set in this city, a woman smilingly asks, isn't life disappointing? An elderly couple couple visiting this city are only treated well by... Tokyo. Yes. Bonus. William Pitt claimed there was no need to censor this man's works, since they were too expensive for the average person to buy. For 10 points each, name this Englishman and husband of a philosopher. He was once the he was one of the first advocates of anarchism in his 1793 text *Enquiry Concerning Political Justice* and Thomas Malthus's essay *An Essay on the Principle of the Population* attacks this man's views. Godwin. 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 Godwin's wife was this feminist author of a vindication on the rights of women. Both Godwin and Edmund Burke wrote in the shadow of this event. Burke's reflections on this political event across the English Channel denounced its disorder. French Revolution. French Revolution. Thirty. Toss up 14. 
before Demeter made him eat himself, Erisichthon profited off his daughter's me- off his daughter Mestra's ability to do this at will, and the Cretan Ecdysia festival com- com- commemorated Leto, causing a life-saving instance of this to happen to a local named Lucifus. A more famous instant of instance of this occurrence happened when a man beat a pair of snakes copulating. By- Changing gender. Yes. Bonus. The first part of this book describes the fall of the Watchers for 10 points each. Name this non-canonical biblical book that is apparently briefly quoted in the New Testament's book of Jude. It describes the fall of angels and claims to have been written before the Great Flood. Book of Enoch? Yes. Enoch, according to the book of Genesis, was the great-grandfather of this man who built the ark to survive the Great Flood. Noah. The book of Enoch was not included in this Latin translation of the Bible that was largely the work of St. Jerome. During the Council of Trent, it was named the official Latin Bible. The Vulgate. 30. Toss-up. 15. A presidential candidate in this year did a series of advertisements featuring him informally talking to former baseball player Joe Garagiola. In this year, the Republican vice presidential candidate described the many lives lost in Democratic wars. This year was the second in which a televised presidential debate took place. The winning candidate... 1964? No. This year was the second in which a televised presidential took place. The winning candidate in this election controversially claimed to have lusted in my heart for women other than his wife in a Playboy interview. In this year, the losing candidate infamously proclaimed there is no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe and there never will be. The VP debate in this election was between Bob Dole and Walter Mondale. For 10 points, name this year in which Jimmy Carter debated incumbent President Gerald Ford. 76. Prompt. 1976. Yeah. Bonus. A trumpet plays a duplet plus triplet rhythm early in this man's symphony of pauses, which precedes his third symphony, whose dedicatee called this composer the trumpet. For 10 points each, name this Austrian composer who suggested substituting his Te Deum for the final movement of his ninth symphony, which was never completed because he spent so much time revising his earlier works. Uh, I think it's Bruckner. Bruckner dedicated his third symphony to this man, his musical idol. Early versions of that symphony extensively quoted from this man's operas, such as Tannhäuser and Die Valkyra. Wagner. Another follower of Wagner was this Slovene Austrian composer who wrote collections of Lieder that set the poems of Goethe and Edward Murica. Answer. Nothing. Hugo Wolf or Wolf. Twenty. Toss up sixteen. This statement can be derived from Lagrange's identity when the time derivative of the scalar g function is equal to zero. This statement can show that insufficient binding energy restricts systems, such as stellar systems and atoms, to three or fewer dimensions. In 1933, an astrophysicist first used this theorem to predict the Burial. Yes. Bonus. Identify the following about some techniques used by artists to make prints for 10 points each. This technique of placing closely spaced parallel lines together is used by artists to add contrast to a print and to distinguish one color from the no- from another. The cross form of this technique is often used to indicate darker colors in print. Answer. Yes, this printmaking technique was the first which al- first that allowed artists to create half tones without resorting to hatching. In this type of intaglio print, rougher surfaces keep more keep more ink. It was improved upon in the later process of aquatint. Answer? No. Mezzotint. This Spanish artist frequently employed aquatint in his series Los Caprichos, including The Sleep of Reason Produces Monsters. Goya. Yeah. 20. Toss up 17. A company operating in the valley of the King's River built a 62-mile structure to transport these things. The Mineral King Valley was annexed into a park named for these things after Walter Disney's proposal to build a ski resort there was rejected. The General's Highway connects the locations of the largest of these objects, which are named after Generals Grant and Sherman. Wait, trees? Prompt. Sequoias? Yes. Right. Bonus. This location is where Samuel Ratchet is stabbed to death for 10 points each. Name this location uh, where a Belgian detective solves the murder of Ratchet, who turns out to have been the kidnapper and murderer of a child named Daisy Armstrong. Sounds 
answer, The Orient Express. The book Murder on the Orient Express was written by this woman, the creator of Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. Christy. Christy. Ratchet is stabbed by this uh, stabbed this number of times. The significance of this number is revealed in the twist ending of the book. Answer, 12, yeah, 10. Toss up six, uh, 18. This philosopher disagreed with Kant's assessment that human beings are driven to ethical actions thanks to a categorical imperative due to its egoistic nature. This man stated that an action has moral value only insofar as the action has sprung from compassion in an essay that failed to win a, competi a competition for which it was the only one. Yes. <laughs> Bonus. Answer some questions about population dynamics for 10 points each. These differential equations are used to describe interactions between predator and prey species. These two animals form a unique single predator, single prey relationship due to their isolation on Isle Royale. When one species is allowed to reproduce without limitation, it experiences this kind of growth in which the rate of increase of the population is proportional to the size of the population. It is contrasted with linear and logarithmic growth. Okay. Exponential? Yes, 30. <laughs> 19. The Mickey Mouse-shaped AP2 adapter complex facilitates this process by recognizing acidic dilucine motifs. Caviolin in, uh, oligomerization permits a form of this process that can be exploited by SV40. This process can be used to deliver drugs across the blood-brain barrier by conjugating them to transferrin. This process may be mediated by receptors clustered at clathrin-coated pits, which form structures that then bind to early endosomes. Endocytosis? Yes. Bonus. This man was the first ever Republican candidate for governor of Pennsylvania for 10 points each. In this Pennsylvania congressman who is best known for naming a proposed law that would have banned slavery in territory the U.S. acquired in 1848. Wilmot. Yeah. Wilmot. Yes, the Wilmot proviso applied to land acquired after an 1840s war the U.S. fought with this country. Mexico. Wilmot later proceeded, uh, sorry, succeeded this man as senator from Pennsylvania. This first secretary of war for Abraham Lincoln was notoriously corrupt and was described as someone who would steal a red-hot slave. Wells. Simon Cameron, 20. Toss up 20. In his string quartet number two in A minor, this composer used his own song, Istas Var, as a cyclic motif. The scherzo of Brahms' piano sonata number three quotes this composer's piano trio number two in C minor, whose own finale quotes Old Hundred. In Elgar's 13th Enigma Variation, Triple Asterisk, a soft timpani roll plays while a clarinet quotes this composer's overture, Calm Sea and Prosperous Voyage. This composer quoted, and he shall reign forever from Messiah. Mendelssohn? Yes. That's right. Bonus. This man smoked 200 cigarettes a day at one point in his life. For 10 points each, name this man who went from being prime minister and president of his country to king in 1928. He was overthrown after a 1930s invasion that placed his country technically under the throne of Victor Emmanuel III. Zog. King Zog. Zog was the king of this European country located across the Strait of Otranto from Italy. Albania. From 1944 to 1985, Albania was led by this communist dictator yeah. who set up a 750,000 one-man bunkers across the country to serve as gun replacements. Hoxha. Sure. Hoxha. 30 points. Final score, 375, 255.